Mackenzie Critiques and Mackenzie Dick Rides, your favorite anime. Welcome to another weekly live reaction Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode 11. Shingeki no Kyojin Season 3, Episode 11. Let's get into this greatness. We had a one week gap, which was felt, which is very much felt. <laughs> episode 11, come on. Great uh, Kenny and um, Kenny and uh, <sighs> Levi episode. You're going to have to sync this with uh, the Kiss Anime episode, by the way. I'm having problems with Gogo anime, so because I'm using timer, it's a lot harder for people to sync it. So sync it with the Kiss Anime episode because it's the dead by intro. Uh, right into the intro. Great song. Kenny Saba! Chill out song. What's the truth? <laughs> Fallen Angel. Da, 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 da. What a fucking song. A bystander. 48 episode 48 they call it. They split it. <laughs> Yeah. So he's gonna have to grow into that role. <laughs> Look, you should give it to someone who's suited to, you know, commanding people. Cattle farming goddess. No. Of course, come on, man. <laughs> Because of a bloodline, that's why. You need a meritocracy, not an aristocracy. History wants to do. His his thing is like, is he is he destined to just be a servant to the aristocracy? You know what I mean? It's very much a parallel, but at least these guys don't harbor any resentment or bitterness. Like, he's pledged his fucking, he's bent the knee to hell already in his head. Hardening experiments. You get put pumps on Viagra. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. You gotta see it from their perspective though. They've got some shit going on of their own. Why is it like this? <laughs> nice. Momentary peace. Now fucking Chuck Norris is gonna come. When is any man is going? <laughs> People change. Look at those dead eyes. Look at those dead eyes. She's got something wrong. Like Mikasa start now. Now the focus very much needs to be on her, her bloodline, her name. What's going on with her? Hmm. Glorino. Anti-terror. 
the spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so jokes. Like it makes sense. <laughs> hey, it's hardening and shit. Innovation, fam. <laughs> and nosebleed. Yeah, you can't just use him as a fucking slave, man. You gotta remember there's fucking humanity in him, man. She got she now. Hmm. Now it's reminding me more like back to season one. In Toki's voice actor. The problem is, whenever we start focusing on on the military, these cadets, where it is, right? Uh, they they become disposable. <laughs> No, you just survived up till this point, man. You could be gone next episode. Hmm. Yeah, man, thousand yards there. <laughs> they are veterans. My village, uh, he's got a big, he's got a very sad thing with his village. Yeah, and then they finally addressed it. Like, they didn't, they would, they would die floating around that fucking idea. He looks like my mom. Like, it was his mom. See, that's what I mean, his fucking village. There we go, we're returning to this plot point now. Stuck in a nightmare that never did. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Humans are the, humans are the, what's the word? Seeds for these titans. You can't have no titans without no fucking humans, you know what I mean? So this becomes an even bigger problem. Village is getting turned. Are they drinking water or beer? <laughs> so wonder. You yourself. Because he's one. Obviously, some memories are of, of 
of his dad and some of it are his own. His face has changed, but it's still... Could it cook? Come on. Sardis. Interesting. Sods. Look at that face. How many is a cadet? Shit. What secrets are we gonna learn? Probably knows a lot about the dad, of course. <laughs> so we're flashing back now. Their eyes still the same as they were. That scene where we saw they, they had that that glum look on themselves because of their experiences. They they're still like that even back in the day. So I just look at those eyes. <laughs> you fathers. Nothing in the grand scale. Hold on, I thought they were flashing back. They actually went to visit him. It just seemed a little bit different. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's the coats. War oh, Maria. He came out to us that. <coughs> what is the truth? Shit. Interesting, interesting. Is this, is this a younger version? Oh shit! Yeah, he looks so much younger. Nice to see him. You can always recognize him by him being fucking drunk. <laughs> That's awesome. Young version, man. R.I.P. man. But at some point he remembered. He remembered shit. About the scouts. That's why he fucking got obsessed with telling his son, man. Nothing at all. Peace within the walls. They use the fear of the Titans to take everything from the people within the walls, man. That's how fucked up it was. He's reminding me of a father from FMA B type of figure right now. Or particularly from FMA. I got something that's good enough. Nah, man. Distractions. Yeah. More than just those walls. Anyone else in the walls? Hmm. Well, you get to see the outside. Yeah, man. Because you brave the outsides, but you also get more well traveled.
<laughs> I was asking this a couple of episodes ago. I want to know how they used to live in earlier times, earlier days, before shit escalated. Fucking, you know what? It looks terrifying and cute at the same time. Don't fucking say it, don't, man. Watch your results. This is how the wall started. Tiny brains. When you were a cadet, you were somebody within the walls. Out there, man, you fucking meet. That music. Here you go, Sama. I hope everyone. Fucking hell, man. Diego was a don. He looked like he was towards the end of his life. He's fucking... Um, oh, wow. Yega Sensei. Everyone loved him. Everyone was making up making their way up man different ways. Yega Sensei. Yega Saba. He was helping people inside the walls all safe. Him out there risking his life for the approval. Of the woman that Jaeger ended up getting. It keeps him away from, from here, you know what I mean? Ah, Erwin Saba! Erwin making his name. Chosen one. With child, man. That must fucking sting, man. That must fucking sting. <laughs> oh boy, that just seals the deal, man. He thought, you know what? Maybe she she could leave him, leave Yega. Ah, oh, look at him. Sorry, yeah. You're dead. Ah. Oh. Yeager Summer. People live and die without doing the damn thing. Wow. For nothing. He's a, like a disgruntled vet right now, man. Every man in sight. Fuck, man. people do exist. Wow, man. Poor guy. It's not a hot shot life, man. Man, I respect it, Keith, man. Fuck, man. His fault, man.
they see now this is filling in things that we didn't see much of. No, you can. That music is so good, man. Don't follow us. This is so lit right now, man. Avenger Carla. You're special. What is the inferiority complex? Chosen one. Someone else now. Fuck, man. I beg you. What changed this guy, man? Like, he had no memories. He was just doing what he was doing, helping people. Like, what, what fucking changed? Yeah, that's when a fucking Titan's born. Oh shit, so that's why he, he, he remembered meeting him. And that was the scene where that Aaron remembers of his dad's glasses and eating his dad. And the key. Ah, it's a key from you all that shit all along. How do you carry that fucking secret around with you, man? Ah, I see. The jigsaw piece is in place. Hanji. <laughs> Inferiority complex. See? I saw I knew it. <laughs> that was never special, eh? He had that shit thrust on him. Son of a special man. Is it wrong? Na 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 Comes to my child. That was a damn good episode. We'll just look at it. Is this the last episode of the season? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna go on. He's so cute. Kawaii! Because he was. Wow, man. Awesome. They're really trying to... They're, they're trying to... sub. I hate to use that word, but in a way they are, right? Subvert this whole idea. It runs your K in fucking uh, Blade Runner. Like, you're thinking he's the MC, so he's special, but it turns out he's not very special at all. And even as Aaron's a Titan. I remember that training, yeah. No, I couldn't change a single thing at all. Look, at, look how much pain he was in seeing. A mere bystander. That much that that training in season one. La, 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 la. That was a beautiful episode. You know what? That that just put everything in perspective. So fucking awesome, man. How many secrets did people carry around with them? How hard must it be in carrying them secrets? She gonna sh she, she. What a great fucking episode, man. What a great fucking episode that was. Night of the Battle to retake War Mar Ruin Maria, right? Okay. They think they can do it now with... A fucking dope episode, man. One of my favorite episodes this season, this was. Really good, man. Emotional. Great. Fucking and great development for Keith, man. Guy looked like a scumbag, but it wasn't as simple as that. Thank you guys for watching, man. What did you guys think of that episode? Thank you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe for me on Twitter. Those details below. I'm just in a rush to get this out so you guys can see it, man. Click the icon at the bottom right to subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Peace.